New Outlook power users are anxiously waiting for the full PST functionality, but Microsoft is rolling out many of the features in phases. So in this video, I will cover the latest four PST functionalities. Stay until the end for I will have more PST recommended videos for you to watch. Let's get started. I have already downloaded several Outlook data files, also known as PSTs, into my new Outlook. You have to export it from Classic and import into new Outlook. Watch this video and I'll show you how to do that as well as how you can save your PST file with a custom name. Well, let's go ahead and work with this file. The first thing that you can do now is you can group your emails into conversations. So right now I have this email that says no subject. These are responses that I want to group into conversations. Click on the view tab, conversations and group into conversations. Now they can, they are grouped together where you can either collapse it or expand it. You can also now reply and forward your any messages that's in your PST files to someone else. So I'm going to just open up this file, choose reply, choose the account, because you're not actually sending from the actual PST folder, you're actually sending it from a mailbox account. So here we're gonna just choose who we want to send it from. And now we can send. The one thing that you should know is Notice that the PST file does not have a send folder because we're sending in actually from um, Teresa's account, it will be in that sent folder. It is no longer part of the PST. You also have the ability to review the profile card details. It is limited and I'll show you what I mean here. Let's click on a name. This is all you see for now. You see the overview, the contact information, and the email address. Let me show you what you have from your standard account. If I go to Teresa's account, click on the profile. Notice I have organization, files, messages, and LinkedIn. One of the reasons why you don't see this much of content is because contacts and calendar calendar events are unsupported at this time. You can now move emails between mailbox and a PST file or folder. So just by using the drop and drag. So I'm going to take this message and notice that it has a category assigned to it. And I'm going to drag it to my inbox. You can drag it to your inbox or you can drag it to a folder of your choice. And there it is. You can also take any email from your inbox or any other folder and move it back to your um, folder. And I'm gonna show you that in a second. What I really wanted you to be aware of is I have this category that was assigned um, to that email from the PST folder. If I click on it, it will at least show me all the emails that is associated with that category. So that's great. However, if the category is not part of your master category list, you must add it manually. I'm going to take this email here and I'm going to drag it back to the PST folder. And there it is. So that's good. 
that's all I have to show you this time. Make sure you stay connected. There will be more features rolling out over the summer and I will have a video to share it with you. Now, go work your magic.